were just like, you know what I could really do with? A mini bar. So here we are in the shower suite. We're about to pop in. Door opens. Shall we go inside? Emirates first bucket list. You excited? Yes, yeah, very excited. Okay, great, thank you so much. Let's do this. Use Alaska Miles to book this. Two people in first class, 15 and a half hour flight from San Fran to Dubai. We just positioned from LA. We've got a couple hours to go to the lounge. This is the A380 first class. There's showers, there's doors, there's pajamas, there's, there's Dom, prunes. there's prunes, and Dom Perignon. We're gonna walk you through the entire thing. Let's pop over to the lounge. This is gonna be absolutely ridiculous. It's so gold, bling, bling. We're just gonna go crazy. You ready? So we're in the Emirates Lounge. It's quite small, but the food looks delicious. It's got some salmon, some mushroom ravioli, and a little bit of couscous. No. What is this? Orso? Couscous? Orso? Could be orzo. I don't know. It's long and thin. Must be orzo. There she is. Emirates A380. We're hopping on. Come along. Well, here we are, Emirates first EF row two. Mirrors everywhere, gold, 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 bling, bling, bling. So this came by with a little box of dates. I did the orange peel, Lil got the almond, and then they serve Arabic coffee right before you take off. We got little champers going too, but I mean, this suite is insane. You gonna check it out really quick? Did you get the orange peel? Yeah, I got the orange peel. Wow. I mean, look at the size. Look at the size of this IFE. I mean, that's my hand. The thing is massive. And then we have a mini bar. Look how big this is down here. And that's my whole roller, backpack. This is what they bring your amenity kit in. This is a, a tote with uh, pajamas. And they do men's and women's amenity kits, and this is my men's kit. I'll show you in that uh, inside that in a second. Um, I mean, this is it's very blingy, but pretty pretty awesome. So let's let's try this date in Arabic coffee. Oh, they also you get this whole like control screen. Check this out. So basically controls everything. You go to movies, new movies, you see that and then it will pop up like, there's our flight map. Oh, and look at this. There's massive vanity here. And then this is a, a more amenities, like lotions and potions. And then, all the snacks that you can eat. Did I show you this already? Sodas, water, water, but this isn't refrigerated, so you have to get ice. This is the tray table. 
into like your valuables and stuff. There's like one little container here. And of course, if you don't want to see that beautiful face, you can uh So we're gonna try these little dates. I got the orange, you've got the almond. No, ew, shall I have a bit of that? You ate all the orange. Oh, an orange right there. Huh. What's the difference between a date and a prune? A prune is a plum. A date is a date. It's a fig. A date's a dried fig. Oh, it's nice with the coffee. Mmm. These are delicious. So we're in the shower spa. I'm just going to put my uh, PJs on, but we're going to take a shower in there later. This is insane. I mean, this thing is massive. Look at this. I mean, it's massive. Full length mirror. And then look at all the amenities that they give you. So we're going to put these PJs on, we will be right back. And voila, we were PJ'd up. You want to come take a look at them? I'm showing the full length mirror over here. How crazy is this? This is a pretty condensed cabin. You've got a total of 14 seats uh, in a 1-2-1 one, one configuration. Lil and I are in 2-E and F, so we're in the center. And you can see like this little opening here. This completely closes once we're airborne. But if you want, if you're traveling by yourself and want the most private, then you're going to select one of these window seats. There's four of them on each side of the cabin. Uh, 1A through 4A, 1K through 4K. And then the center seats are best for couples. And you've got uh, two, four, six of those. So in total, 14. There's just three rows in the center. And you actually have two shower suites, which I'll show you. That's what I popped into for these pajamas. But I'll show you when we go take a shower how cool that is, too. But it is a massive shower suite. We did Etihad apartments and took showers there. This is even like the, the shower suite is even more massive. I mean, it's pretty crazy. But we are upstairs in the A380, so that's why the, the cabin's a little bit more condensed with uh, four seats across versus um, other cabins that are out there that might put you on the lower level. I would say that this was one of the best first class products out there, but Emirates has a new one on the 77W that like blows this out of the water. Uh, Singapore came out with a new one. You saw the Etihad apartments on our other review, but this is going to be fantastic. I've been wanting to do this for a long, long time. This has been high on my bucket list. So being able to do this for uh, for 15 hours with this one knocking on the door is amazing. Yes. Um, I have something to add to the seat tour. Did you see these cute little tiny baby? I don't know what they are, but holders. Yes, you just looked at those for a second. This one on the other side. I think it's for when they what do you us put in there? Cigars. Yeah. We're gonna be smoking stokies. Or like your hair clips, or yeah. a pen, yeah. or a lipstick. Yeah. We'll keep you posted. There's also, this little armrest opens up, and that's another little IFE control. So I'll show you that really quick. And then instead of Bose, I'm not really sure how these are, but you've got uh, Bowers and Wilkins for your noise canceling headphones. But the mood lighting is just turned on. I think this is going to be a phenomenal flight. We've got over 15 hours. I'll show you a little cabin tour once we're up and everyone's situated so I'm not discur like disturbing other people. So if you're in this cabin and you're looking for like the seating controls and everything else, Everything is on this screen, so I'll show you like how much you can actually control the seat because it looks like it's just like a standard recliner, but pop into this bad boy and oh my goodness, let's just take a look at these controls, yeah? I'm two glasses of champagne in and P2 is on the way, so they, they, but, 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 things can get crazy, I don't even know, I don't even know.
So up here you can see there's two shower spas, one here and then one over here. And then you can see like you can go downstairs. But then like right behind you is the first class bar. We'll go to the business class bar, which is like the sort of iconic big crazy bar. But this is only for first class passengers. And you can see there's like some pretty nice stuff here. So I'll flip it around for you. I also told you that there was a men's and a women's amenity kit, so you can actually check out the men's kit. I popped it open. Uh, everything's Bulgari, the same as the women's. But I actually, I think I, I prefer how this one's done, because it's like really easy to put things in and out of it, so like just check it out. We're about to take off. They've got this really cool map. So we just got the wine list and the dinner menu. One thing that's really cool is Emirates is serving the Dom Perignon P2 on this flight. And uh, 2002, this is, a, this is a pretty special champagne. Unbelievably expensive. But uh, I'll show you a little screen cap of it, but that's what he's gonna be bringing us here in a second. I mean, how crazy. Here it is in the menu, and I'll show you the other wines that are, uh, that are in this as well, and what we're actually going to be able to, to eat on demand whenever we want it. Uh, here's the menu that they brought us. It's like a whole binder. So let's just peruse that, flip through it, eat whenever we want. We got 15 hours to fill our bellies, and we got showers to clean up and stairs to climb, so this is going to be pretty stinking phenomenal. on our appetizers, canapes, all that to come. We're enjoying our P2 champagne. Miles is having a ball. He's just hanging out. So we just got our canapes. We have a confit duck with a curried pineapple. Arancini balls. And then a prawn and guacamole tart. I don't think I showed you guys the duck. I don't really eat duck, so I won't be eating this. Apparently this was paired by Dom Perignon, or in conjunction with Dom Perignon, to like really bring out all of the flavors of uh, this P2 Champagne, which is crazy expensive. Um, So Lil just got the meze platter. Look at this. I mean, what? I mean, it just looks insane. Look at this. So I just got the caviar. I never really eat caviar outside of a first class cabin. And I do like it. But it just feels so spectacularly special to be eating caviar, just so fancy. But um, here is Emirates First Class A380 caviar presentation. I'll give you guys a closer look. They've really done a phenomenal job. I mean, like, look at this layout. I mean, if you haven't had caviar, I'll walk you sort of through what you do. 
So you've got your, your caviar in the middle here, and then we give you some egg yolks, some sour cream, diced onions, and then this would be uh, like a mozzarella cheese, and you put it on these little, these little blinis, and maybe like a little bit of like lemon juice on top, and then voila, you eat it. You can also put it on bread, so they give you uh, like garlic bread, I think that's really nice on garlic bread as well. Um, I'm excited, let's dig in. Lil's not gonna finish her meze, so uh, I mean, why let it go to waste, right? Let's got the mains. We both caught salmon, and look at how good this salmon looks. Also, may go cross-eyed because they have such an extensive wine list. Well, extensive, but very nice. I'm trying a Chardonnay, so I had very low tolerance. I've had three glasses of champagne at this point, so uh, hang in there with me. <laughs> salmon on airplanes or any sort of fish that's like really dry and kind of flaky and it's not very flavorful. This salmon is so moist. I mean, it's, it's almost buttery. And the mushrooms are very flavorful. Mm. It's really a fantastic I moment. Mean, this is restaurant quality food on an airplane. Do you, want to, do you want to see this? Some sticky toffee pudding? Look at this bad boy. Mm. Nice notes of sticky. Hints of toffee. That's very nice. So Emirates First is sort of famous for this one specific kind of cognac. You can see it right here. This is very expensive Hennessy. So obviously, I'm gonna have to try it and see what it's like. But here we go. This is very distracting. Sorry, it's not really doing it. It's eating now. There you go, baby. <gasps> Welcome to my apartment. <laughs> Stars are out. We're going to go out. So glasses are off. We got the BA White Company shades on, and uh, we're going to get some shut eye. So 12 hours left on the flight. Good night. So we got a healthy amount of sleep. It was a little warm, so I'm going to put in my T-shirt back on. Cabin temperature a little bit warm. They do have an air vent right next to the seat, which is really nice because you can pop that on and cool it down a little bit. I'll show it to you. I'm trying to wake up a little bit, and uh, they do a really nice little coffee presentation. And then I snuck to the first class bar. They've got like mixed nuts. 
tropical dried fruit. Got a little just woke up and I think we might do a little bit of breakfast. So. What a spread they've already put out. We've got scrambled eggs coming, which takes like 20 minutes to make. But uh, starting off with a bread and fruit platter with jams and got coffee, juice, the whole works. So check out this. It's a nice, really beautiful presentation. Nice silverware plates. I mean, it's, it's, it's really well done.
that is a tremendous amount of time to spend in a cabin like this, like eating some of the best food, drinking some of the best, you know, if you drink alcohol, um, that's the champagne and like the scotch, I mean, these are like hundreds of dollars per bottle. So uh, check that out if you're, if you're you know, an, an AV geek like I am to fly from New York to Dubai to Milan, or even just hop off on the plane uh, after you fly down to Dubai for 85,000, done done and done. There's a lot of ways to generate uh, Emirates Skyward, so uh, check that out. We'll have a full review on the site. I'm Zachary Barable, Miles the Monkey. We are Monkey Miles. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Yeah, 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 yeah.